All right, let's talk about the clinical application of neuromuscular electrical stimulation and the importance of the parameters that are set in order to uh, elicit a tetanic that is a full-on muscle contraction during your rehabilitation exercises. So in the table, you have parameters in the first column and you have the description in the second column. So let's just go through it. The type of muscle contraction should be isometric, concentric, and eccentric and or eccentric all have shown to be uh, quite valuable in reestablishing nor normal muscle recruitment in the presence of the NMES. The NMES should be done on a very frequent basis, five to seven days per week, one to three times per day. With the, uh, when applying it for your strength exercises, uh, obviously we need to be using discretion as to utilizing the, utilizing the NMES on the exercises that are focusing on the muscle in question. Most traditionally, it would be your quadriceps. Uh, the time per bout uh, would be anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes, depending on the fatigue and the intensity at which you're uh, utilizing the NMES, as well as the exercises that are selected. The intensity, you need to get the stim, that is your microamps, as high as possible. Evidence would suggest that it traditionally is over 100 uh, milliamps. This being said, it's highly dependent on the amount of tissue resistance and the amount of uh, even body composition of the individual, pad placement, it can fluctuate day to day. Uh, so really the clinical uh, determination of this is usually when the NMES alone, without your muscle con volitional contraction, like without you attempting to contract your muscle, should be able to produce at least 50% of your force on a knee extension exercise. I mean, if you were sitting and doing your knee extension exercise, it should, uh, and you could produce 100 pounds of force uh, with one leg, then with the NMES, it should be able to, you should be able to put 50 pounds on the machine and crank up the stem to the sufficient amount of uh, intensity such that it could move the 50 pounds. Oftentimes, this is uh, not people's uh, default intensity. It is usually much higher than what they are comfortable with. Ways to make it more comfortable, as we will see, will be setting these other parameters. So the duty cycle is anywhere between a one to, uh, it is a work to rest ratio, one to one to three, um, with a uh, work uh, of approximately 10 seconds and rest as much as 50 seconds, depending on the intensity of the contraction. Usual, uh, usually uh, I'm setting it uh, to a one to one, um, with a 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, allowing for one repetition with the stim, uh, one repetition without the stim, and so on and so forth. If you are muscle, is your muscle fatiguing, then by all means you can rest those 10 seconds rather than doing, doing a non-stimulated uh, repetition. The frequency here, it should be, uh, depending on the model, uh, should be anywhere between 50 and 100 hertz. Uh, and then with the ramp time, that means how quickly uh, the stim comes on, should be about uh, two seconds. Uh, you can make it shorter than that, but it can be a little bit disconcerting, uh, especially if you're using high intensity stim. Uh, so anywhere between two and three seconds would be ideal. The pulse duration would be uh, 400 to 600. Uh, so the pulse duration is directly correlated uh, with the uh, amount of that is produced. Uh, so for instance, uh, the pulse duration is closer to 400 uh, microseconds produce greater quadriceps cross-sectional activation compared to 150 microseconds. Uh, uh, this is usually inherently within the, uh, depend upon the model that you're using. A lot of market uh, uh, models on the market currently as of 2023 fall well short of this. Uh, one of the uh, models that I know for a fact uh, that are a handheld unit that does do the job is a uh, power dot put out by Therabody. Uh, and the current wave form, again, this is less mm, uh, determinant, it is usually uh, specified uh, within the device. Um, and so then we focus more on electric uh, electrode size. So electrode size should be large pads that allows for the stim to be distributed over the duration or larger surface area, making it a more comfortable stim to get higher. Uh, the duration of the contractions, as I alluded to, should be approximately 10 seconds. If you're using a traditional like concentric, isometric, eccentric type form, it could be like three seconds up, three seconds down. 
three seconds hold and repeat depending on the exercise of course so if you're doing a knee extension it would be three seconds up from the bottom three seconds hold at the top and then three seconds lowering and that would uh, suffice for your 10 seconds on the cycle the number of exercises you want to be doing with this is anywhere between one and five uh, optional you can use a warm-up uh, so a Many units, including the power dot, have the means of doing a brief warm up that neuromuscularly uh, primes the system for uh, better enhanced neuromuscular activation during the exercise itself. And then, when we're talking long term, is that we want to be doing the uh, using utilizing the NMES for a minimum of three months following knee surgeries and usually six weeks if following a, a conservative approach, but it's highly dependent on someone's LSI or their limb symmetry index. That is, uh, we want to continue to use the stim until your involved leg is at least 80%, if not higher than that of your healthy limb or your uninjured leg.